88.9 WERS and WERS.org. B-Rock here, hanging out with uh, the Whalers on their tour bus. Just made it here last minute to uh, Providence, Rhode Island. We're really excited to be uh, here with Junior Marvin. Uh, how you doing, man? Not too good, not too bad. Not too good, not too bad. I'm in well, the middle. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> middle. Well, hopefully, Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm doing pretty great. Doing pretty great. Well, hopefully we'll uh, feel good uh, when that show gets started. We got like, what, an hour? An hour and a half till? Well, we have start. an opening band. Got an opening I think we go on about 10 o'clock or something. 10 o'clock? We got four hours. <laughs> four hours. <laughs> Actually, is that, is that the right time up there? Uh, 40 minutes to 6, isn't it? Looks about it. What time you got? 7.38. 7.38. So before shows, what do you guys usually do? Two and a half hours. Relax. Eat. Eat. You got, you got some good shower. food? Get changed. <laughs> nice, nice. Call home. <laughs> <laughs> Where's home? Home for me right now is Jamaica and Washington, D.C. Oh, that's my home too. Washington, D.C. Yeah. Not Jamaica. I wish well, it was Jamaica. I actually live in Alexandria. Oh, do you? Which is across the bridge, but nobody knows where that is. They go, what? Yeah, I feel like most of our Boston listeners have no idea what we're talking about. But um, uh, what, what can we expect from the show tonight? You got anything planned? Any big surprises? Well, we usually try to do a show... That you can remember for the rest of your life. Okay. And what's that entail? Tell us doing our best job and having a party where we all rejoice and <clears throat> get some uh, communication, some one love, some, one love. Ed- some education, mm-hmm. some appreciation, and of course, rejoice. <laughs> What up and coming music do you have uh, that that you're really into lately? Any new artists that um that that you that like you can Jamie Fox. You like Jamie Foxx? Yeah, I like his voice. He's doing some R and B stuff. Yeah. Well, he does gospel. He's he's like a student of Ray Charles, you know. Mm-hmm. And you saw the movie with him. Oh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Actually, I think he won the Oscar for that, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's got different types of voices, and he's a very good piano player, too. Yeah, definitely. Plus, he's a comedian. He makes you laugh, and he can sing for you. And He's got the triple threat thing. He can dance, sing. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's very versatile. I don't know if you've been following track and field, but uh, Usain Bolt broke, like, five world records. Uh, what do you, have you been following him? Yeah, I'm, I'm, like, looking forward to watching it on YouTube mm. and uh, generally on sports. But they don't have much sports in America for him. Um, athletics they usually show basketball and baseball and American football Mm -hmm. they don't really show a lot of uh, European athletics and stuff like that what can we expect from the original whalers moving forward you guys have any uh, new music you working on any new new material we have one song that we recorded uh, on our first album after Bob's passing which was called ID came out on Atlantic Records Mm -hmm. the album was nominated for a Grammy we never won but we got nominated Hey, it's good enough. <laughs> and uh, the song's called Solution. And we've revamped it for, you know, 2009. The album will come out 2010. Right now we have 60 songs. We're going to pick 14 from 60, and we start rehearsal on the 25th of next month. Cool. We've got like three weeks rehearsal, then we go in the studio and record three songs a day. Maybe record 15 songs in five days. Wow. Live drum and bass, but, you know, recorded separately mm-hmm. in terms of separation, but playing together rather than one guy goes in and play. We're going to play as a band. Cool. And then we'll overdub the horns and back and vocals and stuff like that. We hope to put the CD out on Bob's birthday, February 6, mm. 2010. I mean, he's known throughout the world now because there are a lot of bands who, you know, look up to Bob and they, they sing the songs in their language, which is one of his dreams. He dreamed that people would sing the songs in Portuguese. Mm-hmm. For example, War. You know, War is sung in Portuguese and Spanish and Japanese mm. and Russian. You know, we went to Russia and there's a Russian band singing war in Russian. <laughs> and that's great. You know, yeah. Because now they can understand not only the rhythm of the music that's hypnotic, but also the message within the song and get the full triangle. Bob's 
sons of all, like majority of them seem to have gone towards hip hop. Yeah. And so, which is good because they're creating their own identity, you know. Mm -hmm. But we have an obligation to a lot of people who expect us to play, you know, and especially as the original whalers, we need to like put a message out there. <laughs> Any dance hall? We're gonna hear any dance hall from you guys. You guys are roots. There's gonna be one dance hall. There's gonna be one kind of like dance version of a song, <laughs> which kind of like we're gonna dub it, kind of dub wise. Oh yeah. A little bit of vocals, and then we're gonna do. Uh, I like the the dance hall from Sizzler. I like his lyrics. Yeah. So we might do something cross, maybe cross between Bougie Banton and Sizzler. I like all forms of music. I just, okay. You know, I love. Like, I love Stevie Wonder, I love uh, Kanye West, mm -hmm. I like uh, Mariah Carey, I like Aretha Franklin, I like Miles Davis, I like Chuck Berry, I like B.B. King, I like Albert King, I like The Beatles, I like Led Zeppelin, I like Rolling Stones, mm -hmm. I like Bob Marley Whalers, I like Keep Clash, it coming, keep it coming. I like Police, I like grunge music. I like some dance music. I like some jungle music. I mean, we've done uh, music with John Denver before he passed. Nice. We've done music with Kenny Chesney, mm -hmm. who's number one country artist right now. In fact, he invited me to come and work on his new single, which is going to be part reggae. Mm. And uh, he's done a lot for reggae lately because he's he invited the Whalers to do a cameo appearance. In fact, just myself and family and Barrett to do a cameo appearance on his last hit single. Everybody wants to go to heaven, nobody wants to die. Everybody wants to go to heaven, have a mansion high above the clouds. Everybody want to go You know, I like a lot of classical music. I was brought up in classical music. Hark, Beethoven, Handel, hmm. you know. Um, and also I was brought up on jazz. My father was a jazz piano player. Did your dad teach you any piano as well? Yeah, but he was a very strict teacher. And every time Ooh. I get a wrong note, you get mad at me. You get the whip out. <laughs> yeah. In fact, my, my great aunt, who was a professor, music professor in the West Indies, mm -hmm. who was in charge of the whole family, made sure all the kids could play piano. And she had a long cane. I don't know if you remember those canes. Maybe you weren't even born then. You have Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> and every time we hit a wrong note, she'd hit us with a cane. What we used to do is we would memorize the pieces. And she'd stop us and go, show me where you are. On the notes because we'd be like uh what? <laughs> <laughs> of course I was in help with the Beatles, the movie. Mm -hmm. So that influenced me a lot as well. What do you do in the movie? I was I was pretty tall for my age, and you know, Beatles are all very short. Mm -hmm. And they part of the movie was in the Bahamas, so they simulated a scene in Pinewood Studio in London to be on the beach in the Bahamas. Okay, but it was actually in London, and we were running around after Ringo. It was a scene in the movie where some police are chasing chasing Ringo. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm one of those policemen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. So nice. I get to hang out with them for like five days, you know. Ringo on the loose. Right. It was great. It was yeah. fun. Yeah.